Hi guys, I'm Daniel and before you leave you should watch this video because I collected 10 things that you might need wherever you go. I'm also going to share several tips with you which I learned during my travels. If you like this video and you also share the passion for traveling, hit the subscribe button for more travel guide videos. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram, I put the links below. So let's start! The most important thing that you will need is a good backpack. You will carry it wherever you go and you cannot discover the world with a rolling luggage. But how to find the perfect bag? You should think about how long are you going to travel and how much stuff you need. My motto is less is more. First of all, there are two types of bags, top-loading ones and front-loading ones. I choose Osprey 5.70, which is the front-loading one. I find it's much more convenient because if you are looking for something, you just open your bag and you will see what's in there. This bag has a 57 liter larger and a 30 liter smaller bag, which is perfect for traveling. Basically, you get two in one. A larger checked-in baggage and a smaller carry-on, which you can use during your sightseeing trips. I love that you can easily hide the shoulder straps with one zipper and you can have a normal luggage. At the airport or while traveling, you can attach and secure the smaller bag in front of you and carry your belongings safer. Important tip, don't buy gray or black backpack. Black bag, black bag. Important tip, don't buy gray or black backpack. Ha! Buy something with a color or pattern or make it stand out with stickers or ribbons. Many people buy black bags and someone could easily take yours by mistake which almost happened to me at the Sydney airport last year. Of course you want to make memories. Take as many pictures and videos as you can, because who knows, maybe you will never go back to these places. I usually pack my camera, action camera and a small tripod, but I will make another video about my gear soon. I have a Panasonic Lumix, which I cannot show you because I'm using it right now, but it's amazing because it has a flip screen. By using the flip screen, you can always be sure that everything is visible. If you want to purchase a new camera, go for the one with a built-in Wi-Fi. With this feature, you do not have to wait until you get home to share your memories on Instagram. You can also choose from a wide range of action cameras. If you have the money, go for the GoPro. Or you can choose a cheaper version, like an SJ Cam, which I used to make my Australia video. All I want is an adventure. You can make epic shots with the drone. Now I am saving for a DJY Mavic. Louis Cole, one of my favorite YouTubers, uses a drone and makes amazing footage. You're welcome. Tip. Take several memory cards with you and change them often. If one of them goes wrong, you won't lose all your memories. Many people use their phone to make pictures. In this case, don't forget to store and sync your images in the cloud or Dropbox. In the 21st century, electricity and Wi-Fi is more important than water or oxygen, right? That's why you should always have to bring a power bank with you so you can recharge your phone and batteries on the go. That really sucks when your battery dies in the middle of the day and you cannot take more pictures. <coughs> How to choose a power bank? The most important thing is capacity. Each charger shows how much milliamps it can store. Like for many things, the size matters. The bigger, the better. Tip! I always take a small USB hub with me. With this, 
I can recharge my phone, batteries and power banks at once. Because you probably also notice, sometimes it's really hard to find multiple free slots at a hostel. You have your bag, camera and battery. What else do you need for traveling? Lots of money, money, money. That's actually not true. Soon I'm going to make another video about how to travel cheap or how to save money while traveling. If you go to another continent or to a longer trip, I recommend to take a credit card with you. I usually pay by card if it's possible because I don't like to carry much cash with me. Tip! If you ran out of money, first of all, check the current exchange rate online and your bank ATM usage fees abroad. It could be cheaper to withdraw money from an ATM than to change at the currency exchange office where additional fees may apply. But where to put the cash? I always put my money, passport, travel insurance and boarding passes to a document holder like this one, so I always know that everything is in one place. I recommend you to make a copy of your important documents, like passport, and have a backup on your phone as well. You can save your boarding passes on your phone, but don't forget to recharge it before leaving to the airport. Tip! Did you know that some credit cards will give you a general travel insurance? Check it at your bank before leaving and don't forget to buy extra insurance if needed, for example if you're going to dive. I broke my leg during skiing in Slovakia when I was a kid, so I know how important travel insurance is. If we are talking about safety, I had no idea how useful the small lock can be. You can lock your bag or check the luggage. Of course, do not expect serious protection, but it can help you to be sure no one opened your suitcase. There are lockers in hostel rooms, but they do not give you locks. So if you want to store your stuff safely, you have to bring your own one. Wherever you go, you will need at least one towel. You will find one in your hotel room. If you are couch surfing, you can borrow one from your host. But if you are staying in a hostel, you have to pack one. While you are packing, you will see how much valuable space a towel can stick, stick take in a small bag. So I recommend you to buy microfiber towels. These dry much more faster and take up very little space. And when you are not traveling, you can use them in the gym. Ah! You have to drink, but you can also save money if you are drinking tap water, of course, if it's safe to drink. Bottled water could cost you a fortune in touristic places, so be prepared. There are water filtering flasks. flasks. Bottles. With these, you can drink from rainwater or even from a stream. Tip: You cannot take liquids through airport security, but you can take an empty bottle. Refill it if you are in, and you do not have to buy bottled water in the duty free. And you also save the planet. Did it ever happen to you that your stuff didn't fit in your bag? You have to sort and select the most important things, of course, but you won't believe how much time, energy, and space you will save with packing cubes. I recommend you to roll your clothes and pack them into packing cubes and you will easily find what you're looking for and you do not have to scan your whole bag for a pair of socks. I usually have at least one packing cubes for my t-shirts, one for my trousers and sweaters and one for my socks and underwear. Tip! You can buy them in many stores but you can also order them online, for example from eBay or Amazon in many sizes and colors. Go for a travel size. You won't need a family size shampoo or lotion on your trip. Store your essentials in small plastic bottles. These travel size containers will go into a Ziploc bag and through airport security. Or you can bring the shampoos and soaps which you have stolen from hotels during your earlier trips. What I found how to pack is a tube space. If my tube is running low, I put it away for my next trip. And if I travel, I pack it into my Ziploc bag. This was my list. If you feel like I missed something important, please comment it below and help the fellow travelers. I'm also eager to know what are your travel plans. If you are coming to Budapest or Hungary, hit me on Couchsurfing. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe button. And follow my journey around the world on Facebook and Instagram. Wanna see more videos? Click here or there.